Hi, welcome to PsychOAuth 10 Basic Tutorial Training Course. Today in this video, I would like to talk about the PsychOAuth publishing, publish a site or even publish an item in PsychOAuth 10. Okay, when you are working with the PsychOAuth, basically we have two database. The first one is master and the second one is web database. If you are the content editor, when you go to the site call, you enter the content or create news item in the site call CMS. The content or the data will be temporarily stored it into the master database. In order to view the content on the person or the content delivery page show, you have to Publish the contents from the master database to the website target database. Okay, let's get started. Open the browser and then access into the Cycor system. This is the launch part of the Cycor 10.1. Basically, for the publishing in the Cycor, we have two options. The first one is publish the website. It means you can publish the entire the website content starting from the root of the content tree. You can publish a site from the content editor or even from the Psycho desktop. Yeah. So here from the launch path, you click on the desktop icon in the control panel area. And here you click on the start button. You can see we have the option if publish site. Yeah. It will display the publish site pop up. Or you can close this one and go to the content editor. From here, you click on publish tab in the ribbon and then click the publish option. We have two options, publish site and publish item. Click on publish site. The same thing. It will open the publish site pop up here. So here for the publish site, it says that we should select the relevant publishing settings for the website. In the publishing, we have three options. Incremental publish, smart publish, and republish everything. So, for the incremental publish, it will publish only the items that are in the publishing queue. Every time when you change any item, the item will automatically add into the published queue of the site call if the changed item is a part of the workflow. I will talk about more detailed workflow later on in other video. Yeah. So the item will be added into the publishing queue and when it reaches the final workflow state, it will publish incremental publish is the fastest way of publishing because Shikhar don't use the resources to compare the versions of the items that are in publishing queue before it publishes them to the web database. You know, for the incremental publish option, it's only available when we publish the website. That means when you select the publish item, we cannot select the incremental publish option. The second option is smart publish. This will publish own items that have changed since the last publication. When you run a smart publish, every item in the master database is compared with the equivalent item in target database. And if an item has changes, it will be published here. Comparing all items in the database makes this a time consuming way of publishing your entire website, particularly if the content tree contains Many items here. Yeah. 
and the last option for the republic publish everything it will republish override every item in the target database with the equivalent item from the master database even if we don't have any changes in the master database in this way republishing will be removed on the out of date or obsolete version from the target database you can use this option to bring new website database online to restore a backup of the master database and to add a new content language to the new publishing target or other system into the website here yeah. and the next one is the publishing language section where you have to specify the language reasons that you want to be published basically you can do some the configuration for the multiple language publishing for the website by default we have only the english version here and for the publishing targets section this will specify the publishing targets that you want to be published to by default we have only web target database if you are working with any a big project and you have to do some configuration for multiple server or multiple environment for example we have the web state web testing or web uat we can set some the publishing target here and then when you select any target database and then you publish the item from the master database into that target database okay and when you click on the publish button here you can see how many items were processed during publishing and how many items were created deleted or even updated on the target database okay and the same thing for the publish an item for publishing an item you can do it in the content tree by selecting this item for example we have the sample item and go to publish tab here you can click on publish and select the published item here or even you can publish this in the experience editor so here for example i select the home item and then click on the experience editor it will open the home page in the experience editor option mode here and when you have any changes in the experience editor for the home page you can click on the publish here and then you see we only see the publishing option the smart publish or republish everything in the publish a website we can see the incremental option but when publish an item we cannot see that option here and in publish item we can see some option e publish sub items or publish related items you hover on the icon here it says that we publish on reference to the item this may increase the time it takes to publish here and the first option is publish sub item for example we have the product page and in the product page we have some other page is product 1 product 2 product 3 here so if you publish the product page and you select the public shop item that means all of the item underneath of the product page will be published together with the product page and for the published related item this will be contain some the clone item the clone item that's clone from the selected item 
media item, content item, design item, or even some the alias of the item. And the same thing for publishing the language. And also targets, it looks like the same thing as we explain in the published website. Yeah. And for the publishing targets database, in case if you don't select any specific option for the published target show, the item will be published to all of the publishing targets database. That means when you want to publish the specific change into some of the specific target, you have to remember to pick up the target database before you click on the publish button. Okay, all right. So that's all for today. After you finish this video, you know how to publish the website or an item in the sidecar. You also best understand the publishing option and publishing language and publishing targets database. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next lesson.